Hello, my name is Miguel Gomez, fellow X-ray tech student here, giving you some information over what to expect during the program. And today we'll be covering um, the cath lab rotation during the X-ray program. So and this, so depending on where you get put, your hospital, the stuff will vary, but the exams are kind of similar. So what to expect. For the for our, my experience, I'm just giving you my experience. So mine, it was kind of a semi big hospital, and I went. And our hospital, like I showed up, I met the head cath lab person, and they told me they gave me just a, a brief rundown of like what exams they do, uh, what the extra X ray tech does, the equipment and stuff like that. So for the most part, as a student, you'll be kind of put more on the back since you're just the first few days you're just like watching because we don't learn actually all the exams and stuff they do in cath lab because it's most of it from what i've seen it was like a lot of heart stuff and like so a general exam will be you'll set up everything you'll make sure you have all the right equipment all the wires a bunch of uh, lidocaine for the numbing medicine and a bunch of like fluids and like any of the equipment that the doctor will need and it is a sterile environment so that's another thing to keep in mind make sure you know how to wash your hands keep it clean and know how to manipulate the little machine they have that takes the x-rays because they usually there'll be three x-ray techs per exam they'll be the one actually controlling the actual x-ray they'll be the one assisting the the doctor and then there'll be the third one who is kind of the gopher like what i mean by gopher is the people of the person fetching like either the equipment like if they need like a wire or they need to help like assist moving or anything like that he'll just be like the third one there roaming around and us as students usually will just be back with the person in the back roaming around we'll just be back there watching the procedure some, sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll get a doctor that will tell you what's going on and they'll explain to you what you're seeing and how the guide wire works. And I got lucky that the doctor took me under the wing and like literally took me step by step and told me everything they were doing and to watch out for any complications and like how the x-ray works and how it helps it. For the most part, my three days there, the first two was literally just watching, seeing, and just looking where everything was, and then mainly just cleaning up or after exam or helping setting up exams up. And then also sitting in the back and seeing the actual monitor, because they have a little one and then they'll have a big one. Sometimes you get put in the back because they'll be like, so many people there that will be crowded so you do have to step back because you know the procedure requires that many people it'll be interesting because there'll be like a bunch of people sometimes for certain procedures you have like the nurse you'll have the the doctors you'll have us as extra techs and then you'll have like the anesthesiologist will be in there too there's a lot of going there's a lot of things going on and then there's, you know, the note-taking aspect. Usually for the nurses, they'll be doing that. Or some of them will be fetching equipment they need. And, I mean, if you're able, usually by the third day, and you kind of get a hand down, if you want to, you can be hands-on. If they, if you have enough courage to step in there and be hands-on, they'll let you, you know, assist with, like, putting the little wire through and helping out. And some of them, if you're really... They'll let you stitch the patient back up and do that or help clean the patient. That's another thing they'll do. They'll like clean the patient. They're very hands-on in cath lab compared to surgery. Like the extra techs will be like super involved. Like we, as far as like prepping everything, getting the patient onto the, uh, to the field, actually taking the exam, assisting the doctor, closing them up. And like doing a bunch of things. That's quite interesting. I will say that in our facility, if you actually wanted to be part of the cath lab later on, you had to have 
you had to have so much experience in normal x-ray and then they required you to be like on call for like I think it was like 90 days or something like that which is kind of a lot and I spoke to one of them he's like yeah when I was here for the 90 days on call literally every day I was on call like every day they would call me in so that kind of sucked and you had to get a learn of how your doctor works because they like each doctor works in different ways and you know depending on the procedure and depending what complications you'll have to make sure a lot of it is with wire your guide wires you have to know all the wire sizes what works with what and have backups and make sure you open your equipment properly so you don't touch them and getting contaminated that's another big thing And then, like, they have a little chart outside, like, in surgery of what exams are going on. So you can get a, get a thought, like, what to expect. And then, you also, then there will be the, for certain exams, the, what's it called? The, the one providing the equipment, the, I, don't know, I can't remember the name, but there'll be one, the rep. The rep will be in there, you know, with actual equipment, trying to assist. He's also in there. Overall, to me, I mean, I personally didn't like it. I felt like since we didn't know much, it was kind of just watching a lot of x-rays of the heart. And then just seeing them put in the wire. To me, personally, I didn't like that. I like to be more hands-on and just take a normal, just play normal x-rays. I like that, but yeah, that's... A basic overview of what to expect in cat lab.